Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tiny tutorial, I'll teach you how to add an audio file to your Squarespace website. Audio files, also known as an audio block, can be added to any page. I'd also like to mention that blogs inside Squarespace are great for hosting your podcast. You'll need to upload an audio block in exactly the same way on an individual blog post. So let's hop into edit mode and I'll show you how to do it. By selecting edit, I can scroll down to anywhere I see this blue plus sign in my site and selecting that will allow me to grab audio from the list. If I select the audio block here, I can either click this icon to open up the file explorer on my site or I can simply drag and drop an audio file right there for it to upload. If you have an external file, you can also link to that right here using the URL and specify the size and the file type. Whether you link to an external file or upload one, you can enter the title as well as the author or artist here in this selection. Enter more of the podcast information on this next tab here. Last but not least, we have design. This is where you can select the classic or the minimal player and select the dark or light player option. You can also give people the ability to download the audio file by clicking that button right there to show a download link. I'm gonna go ahead and select cancel and discard this so I can show you how we did that one last time. Here we are in edit mode for the page. I'm gonna select this blue plus sign and I'll select audio from the list. Here I can either click this arrow to open the file explorer on my computer or simply drag and drop the file right there into that box. However, if you have an external file you'd like to link to, select this tab and link to the file URL and enter the additional information here. If you're a podcaster, there's a bunch more stuff you can add and you can change the design by playing around with these different options here for the player style and the player color. And last but not least, click that button right there if you'd like to give people the ability to download the file. Select apply when you're done and you'll be good to go. Just make sure you also select save on the top left hand side and that audio file will be available on the page on your website. For more tiny tutorials like this one, visit insidethesquare.co.